Welcome to Las Vegas Prophecy Church with Pastor Vicki Mulberry. Now today's sermons we are going to be talking about we must be willing to attend to the Lord's words and hear into His sayings. Okay, so before we get into the Word of God on this beautiful Friday, it is He's given it to us. Let's go into a quick prayer. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you today, Father. We just ask for your wisdom and your knowledge to be within us, Father. We lead, we ask you to lead us into your past, but not our past, and just to help us through whatever we need help with, Father God. We just ask that and pray for that and believe in that. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, with that being said, go ahead and have your Bibles ready and prepared and go with me to Proverbs chapter 4. But we're going to read 20 through 27. Okay. My son, attend to my words. Incline the ear into my sayings. We must be willing to attend to the Lord's works and hear to his sayings. This calling for wisdom, which we put to use for our principles by which we govern ourselves on a daily basis, to incline the ears helps us understanding of the duties of our calling. It is that we have, along with the signs of dangers and things there for after. Okay, we must always attend to the Lord's words and incline to ear of our Lord, you know, to be able to hear what it is that he has got to say unto us. Now, um, so that we're able to um, understand the meanings of his words okay and that's why it's very important we must humble ourselves um, to listen to the sayings of the Lord think of it within the likeness of this okay when you're giving attention into hearing the word of God Almighty to be able to understand is a sign of good works okay of grace that is begun within your very heart and that you're willing to incline into the Lord and do your duties of the Lord for those who seek diligently within him amen amen now let's proceed to verse 23 let them not depart from the eyes keep them in the midst of the hearts okay this is brings this to my attention okay we learn the Bible is a God in our lives okay and which is very true that the, the, the words of God is very existential to us all right and not just that but this as well okay the Ten Commandments you know um, all the other commandments that Jesus has went and he has broken but these Ten Commandments he's never once broken it is a, you know a God into us and that's what's existential here okay that we follow after the Lord Jesus Christ as you know um, spiritually um, with everything inside of us and not within the world of the things of the world that this you know the book is a God into us and we need to honestly seek the words of God we have to not let them depart from our eyes but keep them in our hearts as things that is dear unto thee, as the word of God needs to be written within your very heart so that it will remain forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Christ Jesus. Amen. Now let's proceed to 22. For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. We start to see a spiritual life has started to form by the word as it is the instrument behind it that the word will nourish and maintain you this day forward which means that you can't live without it that by our faith we are able to live upon it amen hallelujah as the health to your flesh means to the whole body and when I mean the whole body I'm talking about both body and soul which helps you to keep both in good the ability to deal with 
okay, the, the, the great um, efforts to bear and to overcome. You see what I'm saying? Think of it within this, okay, like a medicine, okay, to the flesh of the, that the words is. All their corporation that call flesh the grievous are thrones in the flesh, but as we read the word of God, the Father in heaven, there is a proper spiritual medicine upon it is that we are able to have. Now let's proceed to 23. Keeping the heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. You must at all times keep a watchful eye out with a strict hand of the motions of what else but our inward self, okay, uh, 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 inward men, you know, that you keep your heart with all diligence that the Lord gives us this, so we have, and gives us, you know, strict charge with them that all women and men should come on, keep the, within the heart, you know what I'm saying, that they should uh, take heed to the spirit, come on now, now let's proceed to 24, um, put away from the a forward mouth and preserve the lips put far from thee, you must be watchful for what comes out of your lips, meaning your mouth, okay, that you don't offend, don't with your tongue, for the power is in the tongue that you need to refrain from evil lips of offending, okay, your heart, okay, being naturally corrupted out of them come corrupt of communication that will what, you know, proceed out of your mouth. You must watch within all manners of evil speaking, okay, that it does not come out of your lips of any kind of evil words whatsoever. In the likeness now, um, shall we continue? Yeah, like within swearing, okay, um, within lying, okay, because that is abomination to the Lord. Cussing, foolishness, talking, okay, slandering one another, brewing with a, one another, filthiness of any kind whatsoever. We must contain our lips of evil speaking, be more likeness of Christ Jesus, and refrain from evil um, speaking whatsoever. Now let's proceed to 25. Let the eyes look right on and let the eyelids look straight before thee. You must want to let your eyes be fixed so that it is not wandering of things of this world, but having it fixed on Jesus Christ. Amen? Come on, church. You're not going to look upon the worldly things or the people of this world, of the sinful world so that you don't fall you're going to instead turn from it and you're going to look right ahead with your eyes a straight way on the lord jesus christ forevermore hallelujah hallelujah all right now we're going to go to 26 ponder the ponder the path of the feet and let all the ways be established you act um, constantly in all things, okay, um, and you're like, but what do you mean, okay, that you do, okay, um, that you're pondering your path of the feet, wait, okay, that you are examining the path that is good before the Lord, God Almighty, amen, and whether the outcome of the end thereof, that first you need to examine your old life of how you one stunned things to make a better outcome to where you was then and how it can help you today ponder your feet that you're able to feel your duties it is that you need to fulfill even within times of difficulties um, do it all within prayer right man and, and trusting in the Lord to God and to you know uh, to lead you on these paths that need to be now, um, let, let's proceed. Now, 27, I think, didn't you say you wanted to do that? Um, turn on to the right hand or to the left. Remove the feet from evil. So it is a time 
that you not turn to the left nor to the right, but you take that foot, you take your foot out of the evil, meaning you stop doing the evil, uh, evil doings that you are doing, but follow after the Lord Jesus Christ and the pathway that you're supposed to be on, not your own pathway, but the right path that the Lord has set out and planned for you, and do no evil whatsoever. See, turn on to the right or nor to the left because you don't want the one to know what the other's doing. You see what I'm saying? And you just got to remove your foot from all wickedness of evilness whatsoever. Because, hey, you know, we're living in this time that we got to be more focused than ever before. Now, this reminds me now. Now, you, you, you know, here, we have been warned by who? Solomon. Okay, and you're probably, what do you mean? Okay, not to do evil, but to remove from the evil ways or seeing or talking of the wicked, of the evilness. And we're definitely starting to see, you know, more sins that's a taking place, of evil that's a bound that's a taking place. So what it is that you need to do is to remove yourself from that evilness right now in the name of Jesus. You know, and really walk within Christ forevermore. We pray that this broadcast has been able to help to touch you somehow or another within your walk within the Lord, to encourage, to strengthen you, to enlighten you of what time it is that we are living in. You know, we, we really need to be more in the presence of the Lord than ever before. We need to really seek the Lord. His words spiritually we need to be within his divine presence you know what i'm saying in the presence of the lord we need to go before him um and humble ourselves every single day and to really seek after him and not of this world and not of the evil but turn from that wicked and that evilness and refrain you know from your filthiness of your mouth or any kind of wickedness of any kind of evil it is that it is that you have been doing so I'm going to say this for today's broadcast, that we love you here at Lost Day Prophecy Church, and we just want nothing but the best for you in the name of Jesus Christ. And we honestly pray that this ministry has blessed you somehow or another to awaken you up, to awaken souls up around the world. because. There's so many people that don't have salvation that need to come to, you know, that they can find salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only way to God. He is your salvation. Hallelujah. Somebody claim the Lord Jesus Christ this day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Repent for the day of the Lord is at hand. May God bless and be with you throughout this marvelous weekend and from all the weather in all that's been taking place worldwide we just pray for all the victims in, in the um, cities and the towns and the states that, that has been affected by the weather and all the people and those that lost loved ones during this time we just ask that god moves and god protects and to watch over them in the name of jesus we pray in the name of jesus amen amen